Okay, so this is Super Street Fighter 4. I'm gonna choose Vega, always like Vega. So a different way to play Street Fighter because now you've got um, touchscreen controls on the bottom, which allow you, you can obviously do special moves by doing the right button configurations. Um, but on the bottom for a more novice player, it will actually give you the special moves down there. You can just hit them. So for me, that's kind of cheating. I'm gonna hold off. I'll show you how it's done, but I won't use them for the majority of the match. Um, characters look incredible. Uh, you really get to see the processing power of the system um, with how gorgeous the graphics are. And of course, in 3D, it's pretty amazing as well. So here's my special moves on the bottom by just tapping these buttons. Nice. Uh oh. So you'll see it. Not all my special moves are open right now. This one's not unlocked yet, but as I do better in my matches, they'll unlock in the other ones. And I really want to beat this guy, so. Yikes. Yeah, we've got, um, from a first party perspective, Nintendogs plus cats. We've got Pilot Wings Resort. We've got Steel Diver. Um, those titles will be available in the launch window, which is between March 27th and E3 2011. And some titles from a first party perspective that aren't available in the launch window, but will be available in 2011 are Kid Icarus Uprising. And we've redone The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, for Nintendo 3DS by enhancing the graphics and changing how the menu is done on the touchscreen now. Uh, from a third party perspective, we've got um, Madden Football 2011. We've got Resident Evil, The Mercenaries 3D. We've got Lego Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and of course, Super Street Fighter 4 here.